Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. I'm back again for another punt at a beer review. This one is something a little bit special. This is the the Dimolu and kind of collaboration with Ultia. I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Dutch and I'm awful sorry if I've insulted anybody. This is their 19.3% light, darkness and balance. And as you can see, it's blatantly Star Wars-y. The box itself is absolutely stunning. It's one of the best packaging I've seen on a beer in ages. In fact, I'll even go as far as it that this is the best packaging I've ever seen. How they've got away with not being sued by Lucasfilm or Disney, I have got no idea. <coughs> but they have right let's have a little look let's run through what's what uh, so as I say it's a 19.3% ABV says so somewhere on there and the best before is the 20 oh my god no but I'm looking at the bottle bear with me there's the bottle by the way so the owl logo has been Converted to be Yoda, and Darth Maul, Stormtroopers, and Chewie. What you would imagine would be Obi Wan, a couple of Jawas, and C3PO kissing Darth Vader. That's hilarious. There's the lid. There, the old owl. Looking for the AB. Oh, yeah. He's looking for the package in December 18, but there is no ABV that can find. Um, ABV, no. Um, best before or drink by date that I can see it actually says episode one light darks and balance which implies that they're going to do more this is good this is more than me this beer 19.3 as I keep saying before I pop a top I need to read you the back as well I need you to read I need to read the same so episode one light darks and balance it is a time of uncertainties. The dark and evil galactic empire has spread fear and terror throughout the galaxy. The Sith have created anxiety in the world of beer. For the frozen planet Earth, a young rebellion has risen. On their mission for galactic freedom, they are trying to bring hope and a better future. A quest to balance every planet overshadowed by the evil dark side. In this epic collaboration battle with the, the dark Sith leader of Molan, the Jedi from Ultia, a brewing company face each other in this epic battle, bottled in, in a 33 centiliter. It says so there if you want to pause the video and have a little look. What a packet. Let's get into the review. Here we go. Oh, that was a struggle to get it off. And this bottle it cost me £10.95 pence out of the Northern Beer Company, the Northern Beer Temple in Wigan. It's a beer company the way they are. Northern Beer Temple in Wigan. I am. So there you go, let's pour. Okay, so what are we looking at then? Beer in the glass, we have got ourselves the Jet Black Edge Oil looking beer with a Half finger of half finger, yeah, it says half finger of dark tanned head, very small, compact bubbles. Nothing floating in it that I can see, but mind you, it's jet black, it's so black, light falls into it. It's that black. I am um, the head has disappeared rather quickly. It looks beautiful. There is, I don't know if the camera can pick it up, but there's an alcohol ring, goes to those kind of that around the glass you just faintly make it out interesting so this looks beautiful let's get a nose let's see what we can smell oh. <coughs> oh, that's dummy chest the world of it whiskey straight off it's alcohol this is not messing this beer chocolate coffee Dark, rich, roasted malt. Little touch of maybe berries. Everything that you come to get expect with an imperial stout, this has got in it. Oh, 
smells absolutely divine. So, give it a taste. Cheers. Oh, oh what a drink. Oh, yes. <laughs> right. The carbonation here is so light, it's non existent. You can see there's no head in it anyway. But it's rich, it's unctuous, the body is, is slick, I, it's, it's, it's not heavy, but it's oily, it's velvety, it's smooth. Oh, the taste is great as well, right? You've got alcohol, dominates everything. But before that finally comes through, it's rich and sweet, it's chocolate and coffee. It's like a sort of mochaccino, uh, mochaccino, mochaccino, cappuccino, that type of stuff. It's, a, it's coffee and chocolate, milk chocolate certainly, a little bit of red, little bit of blackberries, black dark fruit, nice roasted maltness to it as well, maltiness. Oh, that is just absolutely bloody tremendous. Oh, alcohol's there, not hurting yet, but it's there in your mouth. You've got that little bit of a whiskey beer on the front of your tongue. Just to remind you that this is 19.3%, but I'm telling you now, I could drink this all night. Well, one, all night. I could do this whole thing in this review. Just guts it down. It is that drinkable. I'm not going to, because I'm not a divvy. Um, I've got to share it as well. <laughs> um, but this is absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I've got a second bottle, because I'm going to put this one away. There's the second one there. I'm gonna put it away and see what happens if I leave it for a couple of years. That oh, is Rolls Royce drinking, if there ever was one. There's, it's balanced. Every little bit that you get on a pallet, you get on your room and you get on a drink. It's all, it all works and it comes out in waves. Wowzers. Now, I've done a lot of Imperial Stouts, admittedly, a lot from Brewdog and a lot from Northern Monk. And I've always said Brewdog do high end ABV stuff really, really well. Oh, there's a little bit of black pepper coming through as well. Like, wow, wow, wow. Um, I've always said that Brewdog do really good high end stuff. This, this pisses on Brewdog. It really, really does. This is so good. Everyone needs to pick, pick a bottle of this one. Man, it's so so rich and so tasty. <sighs> okay, <laughs> gonna control myself before I have a small accident. Um, let's wrap it up then. Glight Darkness and Balance by the Demolent and the Ulchia. Oh, I'm sorry if I, I can't. I, my Dutch is rubbish. Um, Imperial Stout, nineteen point three percent. This is one of the best things I've drank in a good long time. I'm, I'm serious. <coughs> this is better than Northern Monk's Death. Um, and it's probably all right up there with the Brewdog stuff as well. I have got Brewdog's Northern Monk Tokyo Death to review, so it'll be interesting to see what that tastes like compared to this. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Anyway, I'll put a link to this website below. Uh, this the brewery. Give it a go, have a little look at it. Um, if you want a bottle, I suggest you go, if you're in the area, to the Northern Beer Temple in, uh, in Wigan. See if there's got any left. I think £10.95 is a bargain. There is no alcohol burn, by the way. You get the tip of your tongue, but there's nothing here. It's it's almost kind of the like the Bismarcky. Anyway, there you go. So if you watch the video for the first time, hit the subscribe button, it's here or there. Like the video, don't like the video, put a comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Wow, hell yeah.